Greetings children. Let's begin with agriculture question and answers part 3. After independence what steps were taken by government to increase agricultural production? What is Green Revolution? What programs were launched in 1980s and 1990s for improvement of agriculture? OR suggest the initiative taken by the government to ensure the increase in agricultural production. ANS. The government has taken various steps since independence to increase agricultural production to meet the needs of its growing population. Collectivization, consolidation of holding, cooperation and abolition of zamindari, etc., were given priority to bring about institutional reforms in the country after independence. Land reform is the collective term for these institutional reforms introduced to make farming economic and was the main focus of our first five years plan. The government embarked upon introducing agricultural reforms to improve Indian agriculture in 1960s. Green revolution involving use of package technology was introduced in 1960s and 1970s with this initiative. Use of modern inputs like high-yielding variety, HYV, seeds, chemical fertilizers, insecticides and pesticides along with use of farm machineries and irrigation, were initiated to increase yield per acre. It led to significant improvement in agricultural production. The White Revolution, Operation Flood, was another strategy adopted along with it to increase milk production. Concentration of development in few selected areas due to Green Revolution and other problems associated with it led to launching of comprehensive land development programs in 1980s and 1990s. It included both institutional and technical reforms aimed at improving agriculture. Some important steps included in the program are a. Provision of crop insurance against flood, drought, cyclone, fire, diseases. b. Establishment of Grameen Banks, cooperative societies and banks for providing loan facilities to farmers at lower rates. Special weather bulletin and agricultural programs for farmers were introduced on the radio and television. Establishment of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICAR, Agricultural Universities, Veterinary Services and Animal Breeding Centers, Horticulture Development, Research and Development in the Field of Meteorology and Weather Forecast and Improvement of Rural Infrastructure etc., were given priority for improving Indian agriculture and raising its productivity. Q.7. What is the importance of using high-yielding variety of seeds, machines and other technological advancements in increasing the agricultural production? Enlist the various Goyal Brothers Prakashan Agriculture Institutional Reform Programs introduced by the government in the interest of farmers. ANS. High-yielding variety of seeds and machines form the basis of modernization of agriculture. The government of India has opened agricultural universities, agricultural research institutes, agricultural farms and demonstration farms. There, the seeds are improved and demonstration is given to the farmers for use of fertilizers and improved seeds. They are trained to adopt new farm machineries to increase agricultural production. Farmers get these inputs on subsidized rates and on loan basis. This helps them to adopt these modern inputs to increase agricultural productivity. Various institutional reform programs introduced by the government in interest of the farmers are, I, provision for crop insurance against drought, flood, cyclone, fire, and diseases. 2. Establishment of Grameen Banks cooperative societies and banks for providing loan facilities to farmers at lower interest rates. 3. Kiss and credit card, personal accident insurance scheme. 4. Special weather bulletins and agricultural programs for farmers on television and radio. V. Announcement of minimum support price, remunerative and procurement prices for important crops to check the exploitation of farmers by speculators and middlemen. Other important questions, as per CC pattern, be multiple choice questions, 1 mark, Q.1. Which of the following is the most important occupation of the people of India? A. Food gathering, B. Agriculture, C. Manufacturing, D. Services and B. Agriculture Q.2. Which of the following types of economic activity is agriculture? A. Primary activity, B. Secondary activity, C. Tertiary activity, D. All the above ands. A. Primary activity Q.3. What is primitive subsistence farming known as in northeastern states like Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram, and Nagaland? A. Horticulture, B. Penda, C. 
jumming, d, milpa ans, c jumming, q.4. Which of the following types of farming is practiced in areas with high population pressure on land? a, primitive subsistence farming, b, intensive subsistence farming, c, commercial farming, d, plantations ans, b, intensive subsistence farming q.5. Which of the following is the principal crop grown in areas of intensive subsistence farming? a. Yams and sweet potato b. Wheat c. Rice d. Cotton ants c. Rice q.6. Rice is a subsistence crop in Orissa. In which of the following states, is rice a commercial crop? a. West Bengal and Bihar b. Jammu and Kashmir c. Punjab and Haryana d. Tamil Nadu and Kerala ANS. C. Punjab and Haryana. Q.7. Which of the following is a carif crop? A. Barley. B. Peas. C. Vajra. D. Mustard ANS. C. Vajra. Q.8. Which of the following crops is produced during Zaid cropping season? A. Sugarcane. B. Muskmelon. C. Groundnut. D. ANS. B. Muskmelon. Q.9. How many crops of paddy are grown in a year in the states like Assam, West Bengal and Orissa and they are termed as which of the following? A. 1 Sarabica, B. 2 Rabi and Said, C. 3 Oz, Aman, Bora, D. 3 Kima, Vala, Walter Ans, C. 3 Oz, Aman, Bora. Q.10. Which of the following is an annual crop? A. Sugarcane, B. Cotton, C. Jute, D. Cucumber ants. A sugar cane. Q.11. Which of the following are known as coarse grains? A. Wheat and rice, B. Millets, Jawar, Bajra and Ragi, C. Pulses, Urad, Aha, Gram, D. Oil seeds ants. B. Millets, Jawar, Bajra and Ragi. Q.12. Which of the following crops is used both as a food and as a fodder? A. Jawar, B. Wheat, C. Maize, D. T. Ans, C. Maize. Q.13. India is the largest producer as well as the consumer of which of the following crops? A. Rice, B. Millets, C. Pulses, D. Oil seeds Ans, C. Pulses, Q.14. Which of the following crops is the main source of jaggery, canceri and molasses? A. Aha, B. Coconut, C. Linseed, D. Sugarcane ans, D. Sugarcane. Q.15. Which of the following countries is the largest producer of oil seeds? A. China, B. Brazil, C. India, D. Yemen ans, C. India. Q.16. Which of the following is a carif crop and accounts for about half of the major royal seeds produced in the country? A. Mustard, B. Coconut, C. Groundnut, D. Soybean ans, C. Groundnut, Q.17. Which of the following group of crops are known as beverage crops? A. Castor seed and sunflower, B. Peas and gram, C. Cotton and jute, D. Tea and coffee ans, D tea and coffee. Q.18. Tea cultivation is an example of which of the following types of agriculture? A. Horticulture. B. Plantation. C. Beverage cultivation. D. Intensive agriculture ans. B. Plantation. Q.19. Which of the following are known as horticulture crops? A. Tea and coffee. B. Cotton and jute. C. Rubber and tobacco. D. Fruits and vegetables ans. D. Fruits and vegetables. Q.20. India is believed to be the original home of which of the following fiber crops? A. Cotton. B. Jute. C. Hump. D. Silk cans. A. Cotton. Q.21. White revolution involves improvement in the production of which of the following products? A. Cotton. B. Wheat. C. Maize or corn. D. Milk cans. D. Milk. Q.22. Which of the following is the primary objective of India's food security policy? A. 
to ensure availability of food grains to the common people at an affordable price. b. To diversify crop production to increase income of the farmers. c. To provide insurance against crop failures. d. To shift from food grain production to commercial crops. ANS. a. To ensure availability of food grains to the common people at an affordable price. Q.17. Which of the following group of crops are known as beverage crops? a. Castor seed and sunflower. b. Peas and gram. c. Cotton and jute. d. Tea and coffee. Ans. d. Tea and coffee. Q.18. Tea cultivation is an example of which of the following types of agriculture? a. Horticulture. b. Plantation. c. Beverage cultivation. d. Intensive agriculture. Ans. B. Plantation. Q.19. Which of the following are known as horticulture crops? A. Tea and coffee. B. Cotton and jute. C. Rubber and tobacco. D. Fruits and vegetables. Ans. D. Fruits and vegetables. Q.20. India is believed to be the original home of which of the following fiber crops? A. Cotton. B. Jute. C. Hemp. D. Silk cans. A. Cotton. Q.21. White revolution involves improvement in the production of which of the following products? A. Cotton. B. Wheat. C. Maize or corn. D. Milk cans. D. Milk. Q.22. Which of the following is the primary objective of India's food security policy? A. To ensure availability of food grains to the common people at an affordable price. B. To diversify crop production to increase income of the farmers. C. To provide insurance against crop failures. D. To shift from food grain production to commercial crops. ANS. A. To ensure availability of food grains to the common people at an affordable price. Previous year questions. Q.1. Which one is an important rabi crop? 2010. T1. A. Paddy. B. Watermelon. C. Wheat. D. Maizans. C. Wheat. Q.2. Which among the following is a fiber crop? 2010. T1. A. Rubber. B. Jute. C. Tomato. D. Coffeeans. B. Jute. Q.3. Of which one of the following beverage crops? India is the leading producer as well as exporter in the world? 2010. T1. A. Coffee. B. Pulses. C. T. D. Curdans. C. T. Q.4. Which one of the following is the feature of plantation agriculture? 2010. 2011. T1. A. Single crop. B. Large area. C. Produce raw material for industries. D. All of the above ands. D. All of the above. Q.5. Which of the following crops is not a millet? 2010, T1, A, Jawa, B, Maize, C, Ragi, D, Badge, Rans, B, Maize, Q.6. What is the rearing of silkworms for the production of silk called? 2010, 2011, T1, A, Horticulture, B, Pisciculture, C, Sericulture, D, Agriculture, Ans, C, Sericulture, Q.7. Which one of the following crops is the example of plantation farming? 2010, T1, A, rice, B, wheat, C, rubber, D. None of these ands. C, rubber. Q.8. In which of the following states of India rice is considered a commercial crop? 2010, T1, A, West Bengal, B, Orissa, C, Bihar, D, Punjab ands. D. Punjab Q.9. Which of the following crops are grown with the onset of monsoons and are harvested in the month of September and October? 2010, 2011, T1, A, Rabi, B, Karif, C, Zadi, D, none of the above ands. B. Karif Q.10. In which type of soil does maize grow well? 2010, 2011, T1, A, Black. B. Light Domat. C. Old Alluvial. D. None of these ands. D. 
none of these q.11. Cultivation of coffee is confined to which of the following hills? 2010, T1, A, Nilgiri, B, Aravalli, C, Shivlik, D. None of these ands. A, Nilgiri, Q.12. Which of the following crops grows well in the black soil? 2010, T1, A, Jute, B, Rice, C, Cotton, D, Wheat ands. C, Q.13. Which country is the largest producer of oil seeds in the world? 2010, 2011, T1, A, China, B, India, C, USA, D, Pakistan ands, B, Q.14. Which one of the following is the example of plantation agriculture? 2010, 2011, T1, A, Jute, B, Wheat, C, T, D, Oil Seeds ands, C, Q.15. Which country is the largest producer of fruits and vegetables in the world? 2010, 2011, T1, A, Canada, B, USA, C, Pakistan, D, India ands, D, Q.16. Arabica variety of coffee was initially brought to India from which of the following countries? 2010, T1, A, Yemen, B, Vietnam, C, Japan, D. Korea ands. A. Q.17. Which one of the following is not a fiber crop? 2010, 2011, T1, A. Cotton, B. Rubber, C. Jute, D. Hemp ands. B. Q.18. Which one of the following crops is known as golden fiber? 2010, T1, A. Wheat, B. Rice, C. Groundnut, D. Jutans. D. Q.19. Which one of the following crops is a beverage crop? 2010. T1. A. T. B. Cotton. C. Wheat. D. Badge. Rans. A. Q.20. Which one of the following is not a cropping season? 2010. T1. A. Winter. B. Kerif. C. Rabi. D. Zaydans. A. Q.21. Which of the following is the example of carafe crops? 2010, T1, A, Rice, B, Wheat, C, Gram, D, Pizans, A, Q.22. Cultivation of fruits and vegetables is called, 2010, 2011, T1, A, Floriculture, B, Sericulture, C, Horticulture, D, Agriculture ands. C. Q.23. India is the leading producer and exporter of 2011. T1. A. Rubber. B. Sugar cane. C. Rice in the world. D. T. Ands. C. Q.24. Which one of the following is a rabi crop? 2011. T1. A. Rice. B. Wheat. C. Millets. D. Cotton ands. B. Q.25. Slash and burn agriculture is A. 2011. T1. A. Shifting agriculture. B. Intensive agriculture. C. Commercial agriculture. D. None of these ands. A. Q.26. Which of the following is a leguminous crop? 2011. T1. A. Pulses. B. Cotton. C. Jawa. D. Maize ands. A. Q.27. Which of the following describes a system of agriculture where a single crop is grown on a large area? 2011. T1. A. Shifting agriculture. B. Plantation agriculture. C. Horticulture. D. Intensive agriculture. Ands. B.